The number of polio cases in the world are shown in the table for various years. Notice how we have the year in the first column. In the second column, we have the number of polio cases. But notice how it is in the thousands. We want to let f of t be the number of polio cases in the world t years after 1980. Our first task is to use a graphing calculator to graph a scattergram or scatter plot of the data. Before we do this, though, notice how t, the input variable, is the number of years since 1980, which means for the year 1988, we'd use t equals 8. So these would be the t values. We'd use t equals 12 for the year 1992, 16 for 1996, 20 for the year 2000, 25 for the year 2005, and 27 for the year 2007. The number of polio cases would be f of t, or the outputs of our function. So now we want to enter the data into the calculator. I've already done this to save time. To enter the data, we press stat and then enter. Again, L1 contains the t values. L2 contains a number of polio cases. Before we can graph the scattergram, though, we do have to adjust the window so these values will show on the coordinate plane. And again, I've already done this to save time. If we press window, notice how the horizontal axis goes from negative 5 to 35. Notice all the t values are in this interval. And the vertical axis goes from negative 50 to 400. Notice all of these values are in that interval. So now to turn the scattergram on, there's a couple of ways of doing this. A quick easy way is to press y equals and highlight plot one by pressing up, enter, and now we can press graph. So here's our scattergram. Now we're asked to determine if we should use a linear or exponential model. Well first notice how the values are decreasing, but they're decreasing exponentially, not linearly, and therefore we do want to use an exponential model. So it's better to use an exponential model. Now we want to find a model f of t using exponential regression. Notice how we're asked to round to two decimal places. So we'll go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit, and now I'll press stat, right arrow wants to calculate, we want to find exponential regression, which is option zero. Here it is, we'll press enter. Now, sometimes we do store the regression equation in y1 or y2. Here we won't though, because we are asked to round to two decimal places. So we'll just go down to calculate and press enter. If you have an older version of the TI-84, you don't have to highlight calculate, you just press enter. So here we're given a and b for the exponential function. Rounding, a would be approximately 3,648.69, and b would be approximately 0 0.74. Let's go ahead and record this. So looking at the exponential model, notice how our base b is between 0 and 1, so we have exponential decay, and therefore the base b is equal to 1 minus r, where r is the percent of decrease per year. Let's go ahead and find r, so we'd have b equals one minus r, where b is 0 0.74. So if we solve this equation for r, to let you do that, you'll get r equals 0 0.26 or 26%. So we can say that the number of polio cases is decreasing by 26% per year. And now we have three more questions based upon our model. So again, here's our exponential decay model, where t is the number of years after 1980. And the next question asks us to predict the number of polio cases in the year 2013. Let's first find the value of t that we'll use. Again, t is the number of years after 1980, so t is equal to the desired year minus the base year, so t is equal to 33. So we want to find the function value f of 33 which would be a times our base b raised to the power of 33. Let's go ahead and evaluate this on the calculator. And actually, before we do this, let's go ahead and enter our function in y1. So we'll press y equals, enter our exponential decay model, 3,648.69 times 0 0.74 raised to the power of x. Let's go ahead and graph this over the scattergram. 
Notice how our function is a decent model based upon the data we were given. And now to find f of 33, we can just enter y1 of 33 from the home screen. So second mode for quit, vars, right arrow, enter, enter, and in parentheses 33. Remember, this is the number of polio cases in the thousands, so to answer the question, we do want to multiply this by 1,000 to know the actual number of cases. So times 1,000, let's round to the nearest whole number. So our prediction is approximately 177 cases of polio in the year 2013. Next, we want to predict in which year there will be 1,000 cases of polio. Remember, f of t is the number of thousands of polio cases. So we actually want to find the value of t, or f of t equals one, because when f of t equals one, that represents 1,000 polio cases. So we want to solve the equation, one equals 3,648.69 times 0 0.74, raise the power of t. And since we're not using logs yet, we'll go ahead and solve this using the graphing calculator. So we're going to press y equals, press enter here, and enter y2 equals one. If we can find the intersection of these two functions, we can answer this question. But notice to do this, we'll have to adjust the window. We want to focus the vertical axis right around the y value of one. So we'll press window, so let's change the y minimum to negative one and the y maximum to positive two. And let's press graph. There's the exponential function, there's y equals one. We want to find the approximate t coordinate of this point of intersection. To do this, we'll press second trace for calculation, option five for intersection, and now we can just press enter three times. So enter, enter, enter. And notice how x, which is really t, would be approximately 27. So the solution to this equation is t is approximately 27 years. We want to know the year in which this will occur, so we take the base year of 1980 and we add 27. So 1980 plus 27 gives us the year 2007. Now last question, we want to find the approximate half-life of the number of polio cases. Well notice, based upon our model, the initial number of polio cases was approximately 3,648.69. And therefore, to find the half-life, we want to set f of t equal to half this amount, which would be 3,648.69 divided by two. So again, we'll solve this graphically. We already have the right side here in y sub one, since that's our model. So we'll enter this constant into y two and determine the point of intersection. Though we are gonna to have to adjust the window again. So let's go ahead and press y equals. Let's turn our scattergram off since we're done with that. So I'm gonna press up, enter, back down. Now it's off, press enter. And in y two, we're going to have 3,648.69 divided by two, enter. And now let's adjust the window. So we'll press window. Let's go down to the vertical axis. Notice how the initial value here is almost 4,000. So I'm gonna have the vertical axis go from, let's say, negative 500 to 4,000. Let's go ahead and press graph and see what happens. So there's our exponential model. And there's the constant function. We're looking for this point of intersection here, so we'll press second, trace, for calculate, option five for intersection, and now we can just press enter three times. Enter, 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 and notice how the coordinates of the point of intersection show here below. So the x coordinate here is our half-life to one decimal place, it's approximately 2.3 years. So this is quite a long problem. I hope you found this helpful.